but it's it's something that I think us as men, it's we we try to maybe prove our worth or our value and our competence mm-hmm. based on quantity and numbers that we're doing mm-hmm. yeah. and all that kind of stuff, whether yep. it's a salary, whether it's views, mm-hmm. whether it's number of friends, like whatever it or is. Or just affirmation even. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, 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 and maybe even from there, like it can be a pride thing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Of that. And so maybe for you in the midst of being more in the public sphere than what most people I would say are and the struggle of finding your identity in that in terms of how you are to these people and how they view you. Mm -hmm. And maybe this is connected to kind of apathy struggles. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You can go full circle with that if you want. But what has it been like to affirm your identity in the Father and Jesus and who he's he's called you to be as a son of his? Like, what's that been like? This whole sonship thing, man. Okay, (laughs) I'll go back um, to the beginning. I grew up going to church, my family, my parents would uh, like, you know, yeah, take me to children's church when I was young, we would attend church, but I really do feel that I I knew God from a really young age. Mm. Um, and there were different points in my life where um, it, like it, I, there was another step of it becoming more personal, um, of knowing him more personally. But um, despite that, in spite of that, like just growing up in a very performance-based culture, going to school that was like was very competitive regarding grades, um, playing sports and being an athlete growing up, being praised for like what I do. It, it became very like, I, beca- I developed a very, uh, this performance based mindset. Yeah. And um, that and other factors tied into God's pleasure in me being predicated, predicated upon um, how well I perform, like having more of a servant mindset rather than a sonship mindset. Like, yeah. okay, I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. I, I'm. You love me, but am I doing well enough for to like for you to really be pleased with me? Right. You know, rather rather than just understanding that I'm a son first, and he is pleased with me as his son. Of course, like we want to be obedient and do what pleases him, but that should come from a place of knowing that we're already loved. And what right. really blessed me with that, especially over these past like few years, is something I've really been learning was um. The parable about the lost son, um, who it hit me so hard. Um, there was a pastor I heard uh, preaching about it. Was um, in that parable, Jesus is saying how like there's a dude who runs off and does all this stuff that's just in Jewish culture seen as so horrible, like the yeah. worst stuff you could do. And then he's like, "All right, I've come to the end of myself. I'm gonna just get up and." I'm just get up and go to, back to my dad. Like, there's, I don't have anywhere else to go. Like, I'm over here struggling for food, but how, how, like, satisfied and full are the servants in my dad's house? I'm just telling him I'm not even worthy, worthy to be a son anymore and just tell him to make me a servant. Mm. So he goes, and as he's on the way, like, we know Jesus says the father runs out to meet him there. Like, before they even said a word, like, the father's already running to meet him there. But the kid's still in this mindset of like, oh, I did wrong, therefore I am wrong. I I acted un, in unworthy ways, therefore I am an unworthy person. And that's my identity, and therefore I deserve to be treated that way. So he goes, he tells his dad, like, look, I'm just I'm I'm trash. I suck. He's condemning himself, shame, guilt, all this stuff. Just treat me like one of your servants, because that's how I've acted, therefore I deserve to be treated that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and the father's like, Yo, come get this dude a robe, mm-hmm. a ring, like wash him up. We about to have a whole celebration, a feast, and all that. And um, and like it's just this idea that um, and even like with his other son who was who was serving and doing all these things, like he had the wrong mindset, but in the other direction, um, where he's like, okay, I'm doing all these things. Why don't why haven't you ever celebrated me? And on the other end, it's like, oh, I did all these horrible things, therefore I don't deserve to be celebrated. But it's not about what we do; it's about the fact that. We already belong to God. If we've confessed Christ and He's and we have the Holy Spirit, we are children of God, and that is first. We are sons first. We are daughters yeah. first. Yeah. We're servants second. Like that comes after. And so, what this whole proving myself has looked like for me and learning what my identity is is has been like a process of really understanding that God just loves me so much, and He looks at me with joy 
and delight. And he chose me. I did not save myself. He chose me so I can rest in knowing that he's going to keep me. And from that place of love, I get to just rest and sit with him and run with him and and do what pleases him yeah. because I'm like, yo, this is my this is my dad. My yeah. dad loves me. What? Yeah, I'm gonna go do whatever I can to yeah. share that love with people. Hmm. 